Here we go again. This video is brought to you by TheOfficerJackson.com where you can buy merch and buy my book called Beaten Black and Blue, The Life of a Conservative Black Man in This Country. Please pick it up and like this video, share this video. Let's get into this. You know what, y'all? I, I, I'm just so tired of black people. Black people are the absolute worst. They are the worst racists this country has ever seen. And to me, white people are the most friendliest, most kindest, most warmest people ever. You know, to my white brothers and sisters, stay strong. So I got an email about this video about this, uh, this black boy who's at a fruit stand. And he's trying to talk to this girl. And clearly you can tell he doesn't have a father in the home. And this black boy is trying to steal this apple. He's clearly trying to steal the apple. Look, I'm, I'm going to show this to you. I'm going to show this to you, y'all. Look. So here you can see this boy stealing an apple. It's obvious. It's right there. The owner of the shop, who works hard for his living, stops this boy. The boy gets confrontational. Police officer comes. Okay, I want to show you this now. Police officer comes. And he tries to def defuse the situation. He says, young man, can you please stop? The young man is not complying. He's not listening to the officer. He gets combative. The officer acts accordingly and checks his boy. Now, the reason why this boy is acting like this is because there's no father in the home. Every crime that a black person commits is because there's no fathers in the home. The media will say that this uh, shoe shines man, this elderly man, came in and tried to stop it, and the police officer beat him. That's a lie. See, y'all listen to the media. The media messes y'all up. That Negro did not go there to defuse the situation. He came to confront the officer. You can clearly see. Look, I'm, I'm going to show it to you right now. Look at this. Okay. Now, you see the officer handling this boy. And now you see Cecil. That's his name. The, the, this thug, this old thug, this old black thug, jump in there and tries to attack this officer. The officer defends himself. Now, y'all... People don't understand how hard it is being a police officer in this country. They have the hardest job. I was a police officer. I know. They have the hardest jobs. They put their lives on the line. And to anybody that can't see that police officers are heroes, shame on you. You, you should be ashamed of yourself. You're stupid. This police officer did nothing wrong. This old thug clearly attacked this officer and the officer protected himself. Was it a little too much? Maybe. I wouldn't have done that. But the officer did nothing wrong. Matter of fact, I'm going to write a check right now to the officer's family because he got fired in charge. I'm going to write a check for $15,000, y'all. And if you want to donate, please give your money to theofficerjackson.com and we will donate to his family. I'm so sick of BLM and Black Lives Matter. Look, where was Black Lives when that little boy across the street got killed by another black boy? Ain't nobody talking about that. Nobody's talking about the black on black crime. Y'all just want to say something when a white officer does something to a black man and it's always justified. Okay. This little black boy just got killed by another black boy down the street and nobody cared about it. Nobody saying black lives matter. But then again, that little black boy would have grew up to be somebody that I would have hated anyway. So what should I care? I'm going to say a prayer, y'all, for the evil black people in this country because most black people in this country are evil. They can take a lesson from white people on how to conduct themselves and how to be. There's only a handful of us black people that are righteous. So I'm going to say a prayer right now. Lord, I pray for the ignorant and thuggish black fools out here. That's acting a fool. That's not doing right. Why can't they open their eyes and see that they're doing wrong? Please heal their wicked ways, Lord, and let black people be more like white people who are just angelic and that black people can stop being so racist. Amen. My white brothers and sisters, stay strong.